Happy New Year everyone! If you're a financial or data analyst or you want to learn more about financial modeling, you'll find this video useful. I hope to do more videos on financial modeling this year and hopefully start live tutorials if the number of subscribers can reach a thousand. So if you're yet to subscribe, please do and share with your colleagues to make this a reality. Now go to the data tab on the ribbon. On the left, you'll see the forecast tools group what if analysis and forecast sheet when you click on what if analysis you'll find scenario manager goal seek and data table today's video will focus on the built-in scenario manager and the formula approach to scenario analysis in excel a financial model is typically used to forecast the future financial performance of a business now, in the process of building a financial model, assumptions are made and scenarios are created to explore the potential impact of negative and positive events on the business. Therefore, scenarios are the possible outcomes based on different variables. Now, there's no limit to the number of scenarios you can have, although three scenarios are commonly used. The base case, which is also known as the most likely scenario, best case, which is also known as the optimistic case, and worst case. So the questions these three scenarios are trying to answer are what if the company wins a major contract? Or what if the company loses a major customer? Or what if nothing major happens and the company stays on its current growth trajectory? Look at the data. The company will most likely sell this number of products over the next five years. So this is known as the base case. If the company experiences accelerated growth due to the introduction of a new product or other factors, the company will sell a higher number of products presented as the best case. However, if it loses key customers to competition, the number of products will be lower than the base case and this is assumed to be the worst case scenario. Now I'll show you how to use these scenarios, first by using formulas and by using the built-in scenario manager in Excel. The selling price and cost per unit are presented here. We have uh, three scenarios, so we need to select one scenario per time. Data validation can be used or the combo box. Let's start with the combo box. Go to the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab, you need to fix it in Excel options. So just right click anywhere on the ribbon, select customize ribbon select main tabs right here and check the box for the developer tab click ok now back to the developer tab click on insert under form control select combo box hold down your mouse and draw a box anywhere you want i'll place it right here the box isn't useful unless it is linked to a cell so right click on the box format control Impute range is the list of scenarios. Next, click inside this bar and link to a cell. I'll pick the one right next to it here, C5. Drop down lines are the number of rows and there are only three of them. Click OK. Now, when I select any scenario from the drop down, I get the position in the linked cell. Next, this position has to be linked to these cells with the help of the choose or index function. I'll use index function. Index will return the value at a given position. So index, array will be this column. And the row number will be the number returned by the combo box. You have to press F4 to fix that cell reference. You don't need the last argument, so close the bracket and enter. If you want to know more about the index function, you can check out the links to some of my videos in the description box below. I'll copy the formula and paste it across the cells. Now we can populate the sales and cost value. To get the forecast sales value, you have to multiply price by quantity. And cost value is cost per unit multiplied by quantity. 
Now, whenever you select a scenario from the combo box, the active scenario is displayed here. Isn't that cool? Uh, one more thing, I'll drag the combo box over the number so it's not visible. Nice. An alternative way to do this is to use data validation. Select the cell where you want the drop down, go to the data tab, click data validation. In the allow box, select list. For source, select the scenarios and click OK. Now you can select a scenario from the drop down list. Next, you can use any lookup formula that will return the corresponding units for each scenario. I'll use index and match. Index, array is here. Match the scenario selected to the list. You have to press F4 to lock the cell reference. Zero for an exact match. Close the bracket and enter. Now you can make a selection that flows into the forecast. Let's take a look at the built-in scenario manager. Just like the previous example, this will be the reference cells. Now the annoying thing about the built-in tool is that you have to manually type in the scenarios. I'll show you. Go to the data tab, click what if analysis scenario manager. Now click add. I'll start with the base case scenario. Name is base case. The cells to be changed are D8 to J8. Ensure you select the cells. You can edit the comment or delete. It's optional. Base case for sales forecast. Click OK. Now you have to enter the values for each scenario. Hit tab to move to the next line. Please note that the serial numbers displayed on this box is 1 to 5. So when I try to enter the sixth value, it moves up and I can use the scroll bar to view the first value. Once done, click OK. I'll repeat the same process for best and worst case. Now that all the scenarios have been entered, you can double click each one to view the result. If you want a summary of the scenarios, click summary. And you can choose between two options. Ensure you select the result cells. That's gross margin. This is what summary looks like. It opens on a new worksheet. And it's not dynamic. So if you make changes, you have to generate another summary. Let's take a look at pivot table report. There you go. Now you can edit, delete, or merge scenarios from the current or external workbook. So in summary, financial modelers typically use the formula approach to building scenarios in financial modeling. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, and leave me a comment in the description box below. I'll see you next time. Bye.